Hello City Church, it's Hugh here again at the RM Church Planning Conference in, I think it's Burkel in Holland. This is the fantastic uh, church that have been hosting us and there's one of our helpful hosts. I am however here with Phil Whittle who has spoken at City, did a church planting interview. He's in Stockholm at the moment in Sweden. Um, Phil, I wonder if you could just, we know you know Kevin lives in Helsinki yeah. and have been yeah. in that kind of neck of the woods for a while. Yeah. Just give us a quick update on your situation yeah. and what things are like in that area. Yeah. So we've been in Stockholm for just over a year. Uh, there is now about 16 adults and five or six kids that were gathering around in our home and uh, we're just uh, fellowshipping together, meeting in our living room, praying, reading the Bible together, uh, building fellowship, and that's going really well. Um, in terms of, we just, we're going to see Kevin and Lydia very soon, and um, we know the early days as you're settling into a culture, getting used to how you do bank accounts, social security <laughs> numbers, all the sorts of battles, we've been through that, and you just, it's really, key foundational time to getting life sorted if you can get life sorted for you and your family you can start you you can start to worry about how to reach your neighbors and things like that and like in Scandinavia we are in a place where it's a spiritual desert we put it that way it's a spiritual wilderness and you can go a long way before you find a spirit filled church uh, in our city, there just simply aren't enough of them, and in the nation, is, is, we're poor, spiritually poor. And so, what Kevin and Lydia are doing in Helsinki, they're in the same situation in, in Finland. So, we're looking to partner together, help each other, encourage one another, and uh, see where God leads us. Brilliant. Sounds exciting, but I'm sure also tough and challenging. What can we pray for you? Yeah. Maybe just a couple of things that we yeah. can pray for you. The one big thing you can pray for us is breakthrough and salvation. Um, we, we're in the mix with conversations with people from all walks of life, and we really want to see someone cross that line of faith and trust Christ. And I think when you get through that breakthrough, that battleground, then start the other, the other things start to come in behind it. Brilliant. So that's the one big thing you can pray for. Fantastic. Phil, God bless you. Thanks, you. <laughs>